Hello friends, this video on mineral nutrition part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about the process. This process is broadly, uh, it consists of two major steps. The first step is nodule formation, how the nodules are formed. Because nodules are the main sites which help in nitrogen fixation process. The second step is conversion of nitrogen into ammonia. So the first part is nodule formation. So the nodules will be formed. And the second part is conversion of nitrogen into ammonia. So nitrogen will get converted to ammonia. So let us first discuss the nodule formation part. Now as I said, this nodule formation is the result of multiple interactions of rhizobium with the roots of the plant. So there will be so much of interaction between the bacteria rhizobium and the roots of the plant. Now as I have mentioned this before also, as long as the rhizobium bacteria is present under the soil, it is not symbiotic in nature. It is a free living bacteria. But as soon as it comes in contact with the roots of, a plant, of the leguminous plant, it tends to become symbiotic in nature. So now how this happens, how the rhizobium connects with the root of the uh, leguminous plant. So now here another point to note is that one rhizobium can infect certain species of legumes. It is not that a rhizobium can connect with any leguminous plants because there are many types of leguminous plants as well. But one rhizobium, one particular type of rhizobium can infect certain species of legumes and not others. For example, pea can be, the plant pea can be infected by rhizobium. But clover cannot be infected by rhizobium. So even though pea and clover both are leguminous plants, but both of them cannot be infected by rhizobium. So that ways the bacteria rhizobium cannot connect to all types of legumes. It can connect only to certain species of legumes. Now it is a multi-step process. Now the formation of nodule itself is a multi-step process. There are several steps involved in it. Now the first step of nodule formation is the release of chemicals by root cells into the soil. Now the leguminous plants, the roots of the leguminous plants, these are the root hairs. So here you can see, this is, you remember the cross section of root, this is how the root hair looks like, this is the root hair. This is again the root hair. So now the roots will secrete some chemicals into the soil and this is soil. And in this soil you have some tiny bacteria. So the bacteria is also present, the rhizobium bacteria is also present in the soil. Now some chemicals will be secreted or released by the root cells and some of these chemicals will encourage bacterial growth. Now as I said not all rhizobium will get connected with the, all the legumes. So it depends on these chemicals which are secreted by the legumes. Now certain leguminous plants will secrete some chemicals which encourage bacterial growth. That too for that particular bacteria. Because bacteria also are of many types. Not all bacteria uh, can be used for nitrogen fixation. Only some of them can be. That is because the chemicals which are released that encourage that specific type of bacterial growth. Now let us suppose some chemicals are secreted which encourage the growth of rhizobium bacteria. So what will happen? Rhizobium will start growing. That is the rhizobium will start to divide repeatedly near the root hairs. So this is your root hair and here if you see these dotted structure they are the rhizobium bacteria. So these bacteria will start to divide. When I say grow, growth means what? cells will divide to form more and more new cells. So repeated cell division will start near the uh, root here. So as a result, bacterial growth will take place. Right? Now, as a result of so much of bacterial growth, the root hair will tend to get infected by so much of bacteria all around and the root hair tends to curl. So here, if you see earlier, the root hair was straight like this but now it has curled near its tip. 
Now, due to this curling of the root hair, the bacteria will gradually enter into the root hair. So that is the this root gets infected. That is when we say that the root got infected by the bacteria. So the root hair gets infected. Infected thread reaches the inner cortex. Now, once it gets infected, you see this chain of bacteria it goes deeper inside the root layers and it also reaches the cortex. That is the inner cortex. So here you have the inner cortex. Here you have the pericycle cells, the pericycle layer. You remember cortex, outer cortex, inner cortex, then pericycle. Then you have your xylem, you have phloem. So all this we studied in the cross section of a root. So this is how the infected thread will be formed. Now cells of the inner cortex and pericycle will divide. Now because of this infected thread, due to this infection, these cells, this layer and this layer, all these cells will start to divide. Now when these cells start to divide, what will happen? Additional tissues will be formed or additional cells will be formed and these additional cells will undergo repeated division to form a growth and this outgrowth will form the nodule. So how a nodule looks like? Nodule will look somewhat like this. So this outgrowth, any outgrowth, for example, this is your, uh, this is say, uh, say hydra. You take example of hydra. This is how hydra looks like. Now during it, repro it reproduces by budding. So in budding, a small outgrowth is formed. What is that outgrowth? This is some additional cells which are formed due to cell division. So similar thing happen here. Here the inner cortex cells and the pericycle cells, they start to divide and some additional cells are formed and all these cells together form a nodule-like structure or a mass-like structure like this. So this outgrowth is known as nodule and this is the nodule which is seen as small spherical structures in, on the roots of leguminous plants. So this is how a nodule is formed. So I hope it is clear. First, the root will secrete some chemicals. If that chemical encourage bacterial growth, then bacteria will start to grow near the root hairs. The root hairs will curl and the bacteria will enter inside. So the root hair will get infected. This infected thread will reach up to the inner cortex. As a result, the cells of the inner cortex and pericycle will also start to divide due to these repeated cell divisions and outgrowth will be formed by the additional cells which is known as nodule. So now this nodule, the, now the nodule is ready. So it has all the required components which are needed for nitrogen fixation. So what are those components which are needed? Things like the enzyme nitrogenase is present inside this nodule. Lake hemoglobin is present inside this nodule. So these nodule also has vascular connections with the root. That is it gets all its nutrients from the root. Vascular connections, what are vascular connections? They are nothing but the vascular bundles, xylem and phloem. Their purpose is to conduct water and minerals to different parts of the plant. So now they have their vascular connections with the root. So they will get all their nutrients, water, food, everything from the root. So now the nodule is ready. It has all the materials which are required for the process of nitrogen fixation. So the first step of nitro biological nitrogen fixation is over. So now, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.